There is no month in the year which is greater in the sight of Allah after Ramadan than the month of Muharram. And we need to ask ourselves, why is it that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Prophet وسلم, told us, this month is Allah's month. But there is one sunnah that we have to remember, something which is very, very important for us to point out, is that with regard to the day of Ashura, there are two extremes. My dear brothers in Islam, from the four sacred months of the year is Shahrullah al-Muharram, Allah's sacred month of Muharram. And if you reflect upon it, Allah Azza wa Jal ended the year with a sacred month, the month of Dhul Hijjah. And Allah began the year with a sacred month, Shahrullah al-Muharram. Allah Azza wa Jal began the year as Al-Hasan al-Basri rahimahullah ta'ala said, he began the year with a month that is sacred and ended the year with a month that is sacred. There is no month in the year which is greater in the sight of Allah after Ramadan than the month of Muharram. And the month of Muharram, it has already begun. And we need to ask ourselves, why is it that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Prophet وسلم, told us, this month is Allah's month, Shahrullah al Muharram? And Imam ibn Rajab, rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentioned a benefit in this. He said, the reason it is Allah's month is because the action that is associated with this month is Allah's action. The action that is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the action that is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is the action of fasting. And since fasting is something which is only for Allah, in the sense that nobody knows if you are really fasting except Allah, then because this action has a greater level of attachment, so this month was named as Allah's month. Because it is a month of fasting. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith that is narrated by Imam Muslim in his sahih from the hadith of Abi Hurairah radiallahu an The best month for fasting after the month of Ramadan is fasting in Muharram and the best prayer after the obligatory prayer is the night prayer. So from the things that we should be doing in this month First of all, to bear in mind what we said when we recited the ayah in Surah At-Tawbah. Don't disobey Allah in them. Don't oppress yourself in a month which Allah has made haram. Allah has made it sacred. Allah has made it special. Don't oppress yourself in that month. Don't disobey Allah and oppress yourself in a month that Allah has singled out for His worship and singled out for his obedience. Secondly, to fast as much of the month as you can. But about Ashura, about the day of Ashura. But even in general, for a person to fast in Muharram, perhaps they can fast Ayyamul Bid, the white days, 13th, 14th and 15th of the Islamic calendar. Or they can fast on a Monday and a Thursday. Or they can fast more than that according to what is easy for them. So they can be from the people who get the reward of fasting in this month, which is Allah's sacred month. And Allah Azza wa Jal singled out a day in this month for fasting, which is more important than any other day in the month. And that is the day of Ashura. And that is the 10th of Muharram according to the Islamic calendar, the 10th day of Muharram. And when we fast this day, we fast this day because this is the day in which Allah Azza wa Jal saved Musa. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to fast this day prior to Islam. And Quraysh, they used to fast this day before Islam. And the Jews of Medina, they used to fast, or the Jews of Khaybar, they used to fast this day before Islam. And when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked them about it, they said, this is the day that Allah saved Musa from Fir'aun. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told them, we are more deserving of Musa than you. We have more right to him than you because we are the ones who are following him, not you. 
And so the Prophet ﷺ continued fasting this day after Islam, just as they used to fast it before Islam. And it seems like the reason they used to fast it before Islam is because this was a sacred day from the prophets of old, from Ibrahim and from Ismail. And so the fasting of this day was passed down and they kept it. And in Islam, we also fast this day. And there is one specific day that the Prophet wasallam he used to look for. And that day is the 10th day of Muharram. Abdullah ibn Abbas, he narrated a statement that was recorded by Imam al-Bukhari. I never saw the Prophet wasallam looking for a day to fast, searching for the day, the way that he searched and looked for the day of Ashura. But there is one sunnah that we have to remember. And that is that we have to be different from the other religions and different from the previous nations. We have to keep our Muslim identity separate. The Prophet ﷺ, he said, be different from the Jews and the Christians. So if they used to fast the 10th, the Messenger of Allah ﷺ, he said, if I live until next year, I'm gonna fast the 9th and the 10th together. Why? To be different from the Jews and the Christians. Even the Christians used to fast this day. To be different from them, so that we're not like them, so we have our own way, our own identity. We don't copy them. He said, if I live until next year, I'm going to fast the 9th as well as the 10th. And if a person doesn't fast the 9th and the 10th, so they can fast the 10th and the 11th. They can fast the 10th and the 11th. And if they fast the 9th and the 10th and the 11th, because the month is a month of fasting, then there is insha'Allah ta'ala no harm in that. Something which is very, very important for us to point out is that with regard to the day of Ashura, there are two extremes, extreme behavior that we see among people who claim for themselves Islam and in reality, they have nothing to do with Islam and Islam has nothing to do with them. Those people who take the day of Ashura as a day of sadness because of the death of al Hussein ibn Ali radiyallahu anhuma and they beat themselves and they cut themselves, some of them and they slap their chests and tear their clothes in the way of jahiliyyah these people have nothing to do with Islam and Islam has nothing to do with them and on the other extreme are people who celebrated the death of al Hussein. So they take Ashura as a day of celebration and they give out cakes and sweets and they celebrate that day. How can you celebrate the death of the grandson of the Prophet ﷺ? These people have nothing to do with Islam and Islam has nothing to do with them. This day is not a day of sadness and it's not a day of celebration. It is a day of Sawm, of fasting and a day of worship. It's not a day to mourn or to be sad and it's not a day to celebrate or to be happy it's a day to worship Allah the way the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam worshipped Allah on that day and the way that al Hussein radiallahu anhu worshipped Allah on that day and the way that Ali radiallahu anhu worshipped Allah on that day and that is by fasting that day as you would fast any other day expecting the reward from Allah and being different from the Jews and the Christians by fasting one day before. And if you can't fast one day before, then fast one day after. It's very, very important in this matter that we take advantage of the days that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. By time, man is at loss. If you don't take advantage of your time, you will lose. Except those who believe and do good deeds. You fill your time with beneficial knowledge and righteous action. And you call people to it. And you are patient upon it. If we don't take advantage of these days, we will lose out. We will be from those people that Allah said about them, Inna al-insana la fi khusr. Mankind loses out if you don't take advantage of your time. So fill this month with fasting and obedience to Allah. Don't oppress yourself in this month of Muharram. 
take this time to come near to Allah with voluntary fasting, look for the day of Ashura and fast one day before it and the day of Ashura itself. And be from those people who take advantage of Allah's month of Muharram. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too. So please consider sharing. And we will bring more videos in the future inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallahu khairan.